Hello all. As you would have seen from our recent uh, blog, we've made some decisions following the consultation over recent months as to how we're going to uh, make change in CFA, particularly in our service support area and our service delivery of course. It's great to have got to a position where the decisions could be made. Can I say they couldn't have been made without the extensive consultation that you all contributed to. Uh, it's been immensely valuable and has shaped the outcomes to a large extent. There are several key reasons why we needed to make change. One of them is that we can do things better. We have some inefficiencies, we have some duplications, we have dissimilar process in many parts of CFA. Also, the world around us keeps changing and that means our communities and stakeholders have expectations that we have to meet and we have to change to meet those expectations over time. This will help us do that. Also, we need to finish what we've started. We made a commitment to make CFA more sustainable and more efficient, and that's what we will do. Also, we must live within our means. We've talked about that several times. Everyone's aware of what the economic climate is. Uh, CFA, no different to anyone else, must make uh, cut the cloth to meet the needs that we have and we'll continue to do that. One of the key consultation issues was how many regions should we have in CFA. We decided to have five regions. There was also a case to consider around six regions and while it had some worthy benefits, overall we believe five regions is the best solution for CFA going forward. During the consultation we got some great feedback on the service delivery model, particularly the uh, re-empowerment of districts as our frontline service deliverers and the development of regions as coordinating centres not as management centres as they were in the past. The feedback there has been very valuable. The model that we'll put in place will see assistant chief officers across those five regions, uh, the clarifying the, uh, the command and control arrangements in the state and ensuring that the chief has the uh, continued presence and capacity to deliver the services that CFA is renowned for. We also spoke a lot about centrally coordinated support services with many people being out and across regional and rural Victoria delivering those support services. We will continue to work that model through to gain efficiencies but also to ensure that we're giving service delivery the support it needs to be as effective as it must be. In the area of community capability, we've chosen to have central coordination over some of those statutory and planning functions that CFA are involved in, whether it's as a referral authority or as a regulator. We believe that having the resources decentralised across Victoria, because people in regional Victoria know regional Victoria better than we do here at the State Support Centre, is an important way in achieving better outcomes with the limited and valuable resources that we have in that area. So as we take our next steps, and they're important steps for us, but not steps that we're going to rush, given that we're on the threshold of a fire season and we have to be respectful for the workloads that that puts on uh, our volunteer and career people alike and on the organisation as a whole, but we will commence the co-design of those uh, changes that will happen across the state. We've selected co-design as the way to go forward because we want our people, all of our people, to join us in that process. So there'll be plenty of avenues for people to have input and to support and help design the changes that we deliver over the coming months. My expectation is that by the time we get to June, July of 2014, we'll see assistant chief officers across five regions, we'll see uh, the management team starting to develop across those areas also and that we'll see service delivery and support services being delivered as I've discussed earlier. It's a short time frame maybe but it doesn't mean we have to get it all done in that time. There'll be some things that will take longer and we'll have the patience to ensure that they get the time they need to be done properly. We'll continue to talk to you, communicate with you in as many ways as we can about the changes that we're bringing across CFA. You'll be part of those changes. 
continue to give us feedback. It doesn't stop simply because a consultation process uh, occurred and was ended. Uh, we need your feedback continually. Uh, we will see the processes develop from here and we'll communicate on a timely basis with you about changes as they are likely to occur. Uh, again, I say to all who are involved in CFA, whether you're uh, uh, one of our uh, quality volunteers uh, uh, doing their duties for their communities, our career people who are managing and supporting the volunteers, uh, whether you're the people in uh, uh, the administrative areas of CFA, change will touch us all, but it will be beneficial to CFA. Your support greatly appreciated, and I thank you very, very much for your contribution to date. Thank you.